Hey, Libby Gang Gang, how y'all doing? It's your girl Ruth. Welcome back to another series. And this one is on wealth. Okay. How do we define wealth? How do we get wealth? I found this book, You Are a Mogul. How to Do the Impossible, Do It Yourself, and Do It Now by Tiffany Pham. Very good book. We're going to go through some of that. But yeah, let's define wealth, okay? And wealth is a major support for optimum health because it gives you the financial freedom, 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 y'all, to make healthy choices and avail of any existing health and fitness resources. As a result, those who experience lack of wealth have limited access to most average and higher level resources that support a healthy lifestyle welfare prosperity good well-being happiness joy riches valuable material possessions a great amount and abundance are plenty measures the value of all the assets of worth owned by a person community company or con country essentially wealth is the accumulation of scarce resources Specific people, organizations, and nations are said to be wealthy when they are able to accumulate many valuable resources for goods. Okay, so what does that mean to you? Because you can be mogul, tycoon, okay, part of them bloodlines. What's stopping us? What did they do to our mind? Why they made us feel inferior? Okay, because their time is out. You know what I'm saying? Their time is, is gone. So it's our turn, right? So let's see what Mongol means. Tycoon or Mongol, a member of the Muslim, where it started from, Muslim dynasty of Mongol, original origin found by the successors of Timberland, which ruled much of India from the 16th to the 19th century. The Mongol Empire of Dela. So let's see. This is him right here okay bloodlines we just as smart as these people they fought to get what they needed you know we're doing the same or we should doing the same somebody posted this i thought this was very nice but yeah let's read a little bit about him tumor the founder of tumor dynasty was a conqueror of western south and central asia in the 14th century he was also known as Timberland or Timor Lane or Timor the Lamb. He left India in 1399 after the massive conquest. And just as he was preparing a huge army to invade China, he died in 1405. Timberland. They show sure use that name a lot, right? Mongol, an empire, important or powerful person. A specialty in the motion picture or media industry, the Hollywood movie Mo movie mogul Sam Goldwyn okay let's look at him I'm just saying we have unlimited it's our turn ladies Samuel Goldwyn also known as Samuel Goldfish was a Polish American film producer he was best known for being the founding contributor and executive of the se several motion picture studios in Hollywood okay why well, we can't do that yeah okay a person who possesses a great deal of power, influence, or wealth in business is often associated with a person who dominates an enterprise or industry. Powerful or rich individual, like Bill Gates and the rest of them I show you, likes to be in charge, powerful business person, leader, ruler. A tycoon, wealthy, and powerful business person. German root word. Okay, so you're beautiful inside and out okay women empowering women women empowering the young women infinity of course we're going to empower our sons as well and others we meet but we need to start with ourselves we want this sky's the limit okay want to be happy want to be able to afford what we want you know what i'm saying you are inspiring you are empowering you're driven you're motivated you're brilliant. You're unique. You're bold. You're fierce. 
you are a mogul. You, you are not just a woman. Okay? Everything started. Most of these men, if you look in history, always had a strong woman to back them. For mom, grandma, auntie, or something, wife, or whatever it may be. Okay? So what I did was I uh, wrote down some uh, pages in the book. And I put them on these cards. See these little cute cards I found? And I'm going to shuffle it and let us give a, a page they might be doing with your situation they want to tell you about. And you know, just more insight to give us more confidence. Now, not everybody needs it, you know, according to where you are in your life. For those of us that know we deserve this but don't know how to go about it, you know, maybe just a little encouragement, you know, get us from one situation to the next. Page 150. Uh, pottery born so maybe you want to do pottery that can make you get to these steps you know whatever you want to do whatever your profession is your gifts are your gifts okay what it says your gifts okay what are your gifts you're good at some stuff let's see 150 let's see what that's saying many ideas we have the three C's, communication, collaboration, and celebration. As we begin to scale beyond our initial team members, we move our headquarters to Harris Tower at Columbus Circle, next door to Argo, T, and the Hudson Hotel. We were right back where we started, only now with a library of our own and a view of Central Park. We realized we had a real opportunity to create the kind of workplace culture that is too often missing in the corporate world. The culture that we've created today has most definitely contributed to our incredible growth. I really do not believe we would have achieved what we have without it. As a result of our creating this culture, not one single person resigned from Mogul for the first four years. Okay, I'm sure as this book goes to print, someone will quit, thus mollifying, mollifying that statement. I probably shouldn't even put it in a book since it is something that is bound to happen over time as we are expected to travel in size this year. This is something that I am proud of thus far. I like to think that it has to do with the culture of Mogo that we work really hard to cultivate. So yeah, people not gonna believe, people gonna go on the other, you know, and that's only right. You know, you get someone to start with you and they have their own ideas and they go off into doing what they need to do. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? So, but helping each other, you know, cause you can't have a business without people. You know what I'm saying? You need people to buy your products. You need people to do things. You need people to get to this point, you know? None of the greats would have made it to this point without people. You know what I'm saying? So find out your gifts. You know, do what's good for you. You know? And and soar. Do, you know what I'm saying? Don't stop. Don't limit yourself. You know? I'm going to do a little tarot, pull out one card. The sky's the limit. You know? I want to encourage you. If you, you was doubting at any time, my lucky frog. And you can do it. You can do and be whatever you want to do. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't. Get from around people that's even trying to stop you from doing what you need to do, you know? What does it say? Star. You're a star. Brightness, hope, could bring access to be careful not to become too greedy. You know, Aquarius. We're in Aquarius, right? Yeah, okay? Pouring out goodness in the water and the earth. Okay? Fertility. Infertility. We, we're making things grow. We love and help, you know? We're a bird, we're free. We wanna be free, we wanna have wealth so we can be free. You know what I'm saying? So find your way of doing what you need to do to get to the top. Encourage your kids, encourage your family, get family, get them involved, you know? Find, go wherever you can on the media, uh, you know, uh, go in somebody's store and ask them if they can, you can sell your products in there. You know, there's all kind of ways to do it to get to where you want to be. You're not stuck. We can do this, ladies, okay? Okay, I want to do one more page, okay? 
Let's do one more page out of her book. Let's see what she says. Sky's the limit. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. It says page 186. Maybe you want to make smoothies and put them in the office. Maybe you want to make the stuff that's smoothies, grow the stuff that's smoothies on it. I was looking at a Alex. I listened to them a lot. Very in, in, uh, enlightening and informative. Y'all need to check that out. She was talking about growing the plants and selling them. Different herbs, different stuff. Maybe you want to make this. Maybe you're genius enough to make the, the equipment. You know, whatever it may be. It's 186. Let's see. You know, don't, don't limit yourself. Rely on your why. At the end of the day, I didn't create Mogul to make money. I created Mogul to offer opportunities to women, opportunities for connecting, sharing, learning, and growing. I did it to amplify women's voices all around the world so they could express their unfiltered opinions without fear, find community inspiration, and learn new skills. I did it to honor my family, my parents, for all the sacrifices they made for my siblings and me. I work hard every day to make them proud, to thank them for encouraging me to strive for my full potential and for showing me that commu commitment to others and making the world a better place are truly possible. To me, an empire is not created to amass dollars in the bank, but to create lasting and global impact. Okay. You want it to last. You want to uh, have uh, generation, you know, um, generational wealth, legacies. You know, you want to be able to feel comfortable when you get ready to go that your kids, your family have something that they can look, you know, they can still th thrive and won't have to be in poverty. You know what I'm saying? I mean, of course, you're going to teach them life is up and down, but, you know, you're going to teach them how to get back up no matter what happens. You know, because you're leaving the legacy. You're leaving a mindset. Let's do a little shock of wisdom. I'm going to let y'all go. I hope this helps some, encourage somebody. That's all I want to do, encourage somebody. If it's just one person, that's fine with me. Third chakra solar plexus, self-confidence. I trust myself fully. I will not allow fear or doubt to hold me back from doing what I am here to do. I have confidence, belief, and conviction in my abilities and goals. I welcome questioning by others as this gives me a chance to clarify my truth, ideas, and philosophies. I trust in a higher power and I am open to new challenges. Hello. Self-explanatory. So go forth and soar, ladies. All right. Love y'all. This is your girl Ruth signing off, and I hope I help. And uh, would you like, subscribe, share, and comment? I really appreciate it, y'all. Until next time, y'all take care, okay? All right, bye. I love y'all.